Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. This video is about polysyllogisms. A polysyllogism, also known as a sorieties, is a string of propositions forming a sequence of syllogisms. The conclusion of each syllogism is a premise for the next, and so on. Now, to test a sorieties, you must put forth the intermediate conclusions and then test each of the individual syllogisms. And if each syllogism is valid, then the sorieties is valid. But if one of the individual syllogisms is invalid, then the entire sororities is invalid. It's like a chain that is only as strong as its weakest link. Here's an example. The first step is to put it into standard form. First, identify the predicate of the conclusion, then find the premise that has that term. Write that premise first, then identify the other term in the same premise, Find the next premise that contains that term and write it second. Now look at the other term in the second premise. Find the premise that has this term and write it below the second premise. Finally, write the conclusion last. Now the new sororities is in standard form. The predicate of the conclusion is in the first premise. The other term from the first premise is in the second premise, and so on. Once the sororities is in standard form, you can derive the intermediate conclusion, which is the conclusion implied by the first two premises. One of the easiest ways to do this is with a Venn diagram. The top circle is for the term that is repeated in the first two premises. The other circles are for the other two terms in the first two premises. The order is not really important. Now, enter the first two premises into the diagram. When you look at the bottom two circles, you can see that they imply the conclusion no A or D. Write this conclusion next to the first two premises. This new conclusion becomes a premise. Put it together with the last premise. To test the sororities for validity, when you put these two premises into the Venn diagram, we see that the diagram does imply the conclusion, so the sororities is valid. Let's work a practice problem. Practice problem number one. What sororities is in standard form? Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This sororities is in standard form. Next, for the first two premises, what conclusion is implied? Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This conclusion follows. Now, with this conclusion as the first premise, is the new syllogism valid or invalid? Draw a Venn diagram and test the syllogism. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. It's valid. Next practice problem. Choose the sororities that is in standard form. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This one is in standard form. Next, for the first two premises, what conclusion is implied? Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This conclusion follows. Now, with this conclusion as the first premise, is the new syllogism valid or invalid? Draw a Venn diagram. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Invalid. Now, here is a longer sororities. Choose the one that is in standard form. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This one is in standard form. Next, for the first two premises, what conclusion is implied? Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This conclusion follows. Now, with this conclusion as the first premise, what is the next conclusion that is implied? Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This conclusion follows. Now, with this conclusion as the first premise, is the new syllogism valid or invalid? Draw a Venn diagram. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Valid. A very good job on those practice problems. Now, one other thing that you should know. At some time, you may need to reduce the number of terms in the sororities in order to test it. See previous lessons on how to reduce the number of terms for more information. And congratulations. You have now received your purple belt in logic. Comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.